early 1980s, I had a chance to travel with Mr. Wiesenthal to university campuses in the States when he spoke. And inevitably he was asked, you know, could it happen again? Very interesting response and I think uh, kind of compelling message for everyone. He said, look, the dynamics are as follows. If you have hatred and a crisis, and uh, let's say in the case of the Germans, they also created a bureaucracy. But if you have hatred plus technology and sprinkle in a crisis, you have the basis, God forbid, for something like a Holocaust happening again. And the way he uh, reference he gave was he said, look back to the Inquisition. He said if the technology of the Nazis had been available back then, no Jew had survived in Spain, no Catholic in England, no Protestant in, uh, you know, in France. So, and that was, you know, Mr. Wiesenthal passed at about 96 years old, four or five years ago. He died at the dawn of the Internet era. Think today of the instantaneous communication of how the computerization of our lives, the eradication of, of uh, privacy. So, uh, in a sense, he didn't even know when he meant technology, he meant what the Germans had gone through. That's, you know, uh, uh, I would say that the Nazi officials from then, um, uh, their propaganda minister Goebbels, he would weep at, at the, with joy at the idea, wow, you can have something like the internet to take your propaganda and spread the hatreds.